Understanding Python Super with underscore init underscore methods. Why is super used? Is there a difference between using base dot underscore init underscore and super dot underscore init underscore? Super lets you avoid referring to the base class explicitly, which can be nice. But the main advantage comes with multiple inheritance, where all sorts of fun stuff can happen. See the standard docs on Super if you haven't already. Note that the syntax changed in Python 3.0, you can just say super dot underscore in it underscore, instead of super child, self, dot underscore in it underscore, which emo is quite a bit nicer. The standard docs also refer to a guide to using super which is quite explanatory. I'm trying to understand super. The reason we use super is so that child classes that may be using cooperative multiple inheritance will call the correct next parent class function in the method resolution order, mro. In Python 3, we can call it like this. In Python 2, we were required to call super like this with the defining class's name and self, but we'll avoid this from now on because it's redundant, slower, due to the name lookups, and more verbose, so update your Python if you haven't already. Without super, you are limited in your ability to use multiple inheritance because you hardwire the next parent's call. I further explain below. What difference is there actually in this code? The primary difference in this code is that in child you get a layer of indirection in the underscore init underscore with super, which uses the class in which it is defined to determine the next class's underscore init underscore to look up in the row. I illustrate this difference in an answer at the canonical question, how to use super in Python which demonstrates dependency injection and cooperative multiple inheritance. If Python didn't have super, here's code that's actually closely equivalent to super, how it's implemented in C, minus some checking and fallback behavior, and translated to Python. Written a little more like native Python. If we didn't have the super object, we'd have to write this manual code everywhere, or recreate it, to ensure that we call the proper next method in the method resolution order. How does super do this in Python 3 without being told explicitly which class and instance from the method it was called from? It gets the calling stack frame, and finds the class, implicitly stored as a local free variable, underscore class underscore, making the calling function a closure over the class, and the first argument to that function which should be the instance or class that informs it which method resolution order, MRO, to use. Since it requires that first argument for the MRO, using super with static methods is impossible as they do not have access to the MRO of the class from which they are called. Criticisms of other answers. Super lets you avoid referring to the base class explicitly, which can be nice. 
But the main advantage comes with multiple inheritance, where all sorts of fun stuff can happen. See the standard docs on Super if you haven't already. It's rather hand wavy and doesn't tell us much, but the point of Super is not to avoid writing the parent class. The point is to ensure that the next method in line in the method resolution order, MRO, is called. This becomes important in multiple inheritance. I'll explain here. And let's create a dependency that we want to be called after the child. Now remember, child uses super, childer does not. And OCR does not call the user dependency method. But user does in fact call user dependency because child invokes super. Criticism for another answer. In no circumstance should you do the following, which another answer suggests, as you'll definitely get errors when you subclass child. That answer is not clever or particularly interesting, but in spite of direct criticism in the comments and over 17 downvotes, the answerer persisted in suggesting it until a kind editor fixed his problem. Explanation, using self dot underscore class underscore as a substitute for the class name in super will lead to recursion. Super lets us look up the next parent in the row. see the first section of this answer, for child classes. If you tell super we're in the child instances method, it will then look up the next method in line, probably this one, resulting in recursion, probably causing a logical failure, in the answer as example, it does, or a runtime error when the recursion depth is exceeded. Python 3's new super calling method with no arguments fortunately allows us to sidestep this issue. It's been noted that in Python 3.0 plus you can use to make your call, which is concise and does not require you to reference the parent of class names explicitly, which can be handy. I just want to add that for Python 2.7 or under, some people implement a name insensitive behavior by writing self dot underscore class underscore instead of the class name, i.e. However, this breaks calls to super for any classes that inherit from your class, where self dot underscore class underscore could return a child class. For example, Here I have a class square, which is a subclass of rectangle. Say I don't want to write a separate constructor for square because the constructor for rectangle is good enough, but for whatever reason I want to implement a square so I can re-implement some other method. When I create a square using square equals square a, 10 comma 10, Python calls the constructor for rectangle because I haven't given square its own constructor. However, in the constructor for rectangle, the call super self dot underscore class underscore comma self is going to return the super class of m square, so it calls the constructor for rectangle again. This is how the infinite loop happens, as was mentioned by it s underscore c. In this case, when I run super dot 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 underscore in an underscore, 
I am calling the constructor for rectangle but since I give it no arguments, I will get an error. Super has no side effects. Works as expected. Gets into infinite recursion. Yeah, yeah. This is a threat.